Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. I'm in the car here. I'm just about to leave for Tom's house of Drone Tech Media and going down to help him upgrade his PC today. Uh, yeah, so stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to take a second to thank today's sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by McGrath & Co Accountants. They've been operating in New Ross since the year 2000. They offer loads of services, including accounts preparations, bookkeeping and auditing. So if you're in the market for an accountant, definitely check those out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Now back to today's video. Today we're down in Tom from Drone Tech Media's house. We're going to be upgrading his video editing PC today. He's going to be upgrading from an AMD CPU to an Intel. That means we're going to have to change the motherboard as well as the CPU. Everything else that he has will be reused. This should really help him with video editing in the future. Okay, so we're going to start putting it together here now. Because it's already been a built system, it's going to be very easy to put back together. Most of the cables and stuff like that have already been run. So the only thing that we've done is taken out the motherboard and um, some of the cables and stuff that were in the way. So we just have to replace all that. The first thing that's going to go in is the motherboard. So we just have to line that up with all the screw holes. There's eight screws in total. We just put those back in. So here you can see me putting the cables into the motherboard. I'm going to be putting in the main power, the auxiliary power. Um, I'm going to be plugging in the SATA cables for the hard drives. I'll be plugging in all the fans. I'll be plugging in the, the front panel connectors. We're just going to install the cooler there now. This is the first water cooler I've ever had to install. So I've got Tom giving me a hand and showing me how to do it. This is actually a very simple water cooler because it's um, all in one you don't have to hook any pipes up or anything like that you literally just screw it down to the motherboard the same as any other cooler and you just hook your radiator and fan up to the back so if you're going to be buying a water cooler just make sure it's rated to cool the cpu you're using i'm just installing the graphics card there now it's just a little bit too long for the case so it's a little bit hard to get in it has to be um, put in at the right angle to go in. Most graphics cards use auxiliary power as well. So normally you'll have a connector on the side. This one uses an eight and a six pin. This part is a little bit fiddly. We're trying to feed the fan cables up and over the motherboard tray to get them down behind. This is just to try to keep the case free from cables. These are just some benchmarks that compare his old CPU to his new CPU. As you can see, he's getting a good boost in processing power. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our video. I'm just after pulling in home here. I'm looking forward to getting in and uh, having a bit of a rest. Um, I had a good day down with Tom upgrading his PC. It went pretty smoothly. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.